Today we are going to be looking at how to validate niches for Redbubble so we can make some sales by putting designs on that people are already wanting to buy. So we're going to look at the niches, figure out what's going to sell using a formula that I'm going to give you and I'm going to go through it slowly. You can do this in about a minute once you get used to it, but if it's new to you, you might want to take your time and just get a feel for how to do it. So we're going to use Redbubble Popular Tags tool and you can see all the stats on here, but does it mean anything? How do you, how do you find out whether a niche is worth targeting? That's what we're going to look at today. So we're going to sort by popularity, the change in popularity over the last week, and a lot of the stuff at the top will be copyright. You'll just have to look down to find a phrase that isn't copyright, and which is when you'll get to this. Coffee is all that I need. So we can see that it's gone up 5,400 in popularity. So we know, step one, use the popular tags tool. This looks interesting. Let's click and research further. The first thing we'll be looking at is the results on Redbubble. So we've got 1,400, that's very low, that's great. We need low results, so low competition and high demand, ideally. However, just because there is high competition doesn't mean we can't compete, which is why we need to look at number two, which is the quality of the results. So forget most relevant, let's organize by best selling. So the top selling designs about coffee, or coffee is all that I need, are text-based, so very easy to compete against. That's fine, nice and easy. Now what we're gonna do is just take this same term and have a look on a different website. So I'm gonna choose to go on Etsy. Let's just get Etsy open. So we're gonna find out whether there's demand using other websites to validate that. Because if customers are buying something on one site, they're likely gonna be buying it on another site as well. Not always, but most of the time. So first thing you need to know about Etsy if you are using this is that the top results you see here is an ad, 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 ad. So people are paying for these to be at the top. So we're gonna scroll past that because that is skewing the results a little bit and we're gonna, gonna throw us off. So we've got coffee, all I need is coffee and my dog, coffee and weed, Ugh, great. Now I'm gonna to have to declare drug references in my video. All I need is coffee and mascara, coffee and scissors, coffee and my dog. So you can see a theme here, can't you? Coffee plus blank equals sales. So all we need to do is find that blank. What I'm also gonna do is just look on Merchant Farmer and it shows you what's selling right now on Amazon. And you can see the most top selling one is mom designs. The reason being is because it's Mother's Day. So we're going to put coffee in just to see what there is. Obviously coffee and mom will be popular because mom designs are popular. Probably be a mom result in there, I would imagine. Yep, I recognize this shirt from the text-based designs video that I did. Messy bun, coffee run, gangster rap, need a nap, mom life. Also selling hundreds of shirts a month. Coffee and a dragon, coffee Spanish, coffee and my cat, dragon again, mom life again. Okay, and what we can also do on Merchant Farmer if you have access to this, if not, don't worry, but if you do, there's a tool section down here and they've got a merch calendar. And that merch calendar tells you what is going on. Um, there's all sorts of holidays and it is actually beverage day today, unofficial holiday beverage day. So depending on what market you target, whether it's the US, UK, Germany or all of the above, then you can have a look on here to find out whether there's some big days coming up. Um, Memorial Day, big thing in the US. Father's Day, not so big, but it's all right. Independence Day, definitely big. All these seasonal trends that you can target. Ideally, we'll get something that is evergreen and will sell all year round. But if you want to target a trend, certainly a good way to make a lot of money. Some people think it's a bit of a waste of time targeting trends because they only sell once a year. But damn, do they sell when they sell. You can make a whole year's worth of sales of evergreen niches within like a week with trends. So assuming you don't have Merch Informer, we're just going to look at what's best selling on Redbubble. And bear in mind the best selling results, the very best of the best, like this one, number one out of 1.4 million results, isn't necessarily the best thing to target. It's, it's worth scrolling all the way down and having a look at some of the things that are on there that aren't on the first page because there's so many different things. Okay, golf. Golf could be an option. Coffee and golf. Do people who golf like coffee? I don't know. 
That's what we need to look at and find out. Puns, always good. Coffee puns would be a good idea. Gaming has always been and probably will always continue to be a good niche to target because gamers buy these graphic t-shirts a lot. So potentially gaming and coffee, probably more like gaming and energy drinks rather than coffee. Now I'm not in the coffee niche so I'm not one to speak about it but I very much doubt that coffee on its own is an amazing seller. The beauty of Redbubble is that we can have a look at what's already selling. We know all these are best sellers. They're literally on the best sellers list. People are buying these things. So anything that you look at down here can be paired with coffee. Obviously no copyright infringement. But you can have a look at what's on here and what's selling well and then pair up the niche that's selling well with coffee. So cat and coffee we've already established. Octopus with coffee, some pun would be good there. Vintage coffee. Engineer humour, engineer plus coffee, yep, I'm sure that would go down well. If anything, out of anything I've seen so far, probably the engineer one, I would bet, would go down well with the coffee. We know that engineer designs are popular because there is one on the bestsellers list on Redbubble, and we know that coffee-related engineer shirts are also popular because here it is when I search for engineer coffee as the second best-selling and the third best-selling. Um, and there's other ones down there that are related to engineers. And this isn't that great. This um, shirt is not amazing. Now, obviously, I've mentioned that there are going to be loads of coffee-related engineer shirts, I'm sure. But this is just an example. Now that we've done that, that's just one item from the Redbubble popular tags tool. And the original word was, coffee is all that I need. So... That's how I do it. I just go down the list and have a look at what's available and what the demand's like. So just to reiterate again, I will look at number one, the results. How many results are there? Can I compete in this or is it mega oversaturated? If this is in the hundreds of thousands or millions, I would definitely think twice. However, if the competition is no good, then I might be able to ignore the fact that there's a lot of results because I might be able to compete anyway. So we're looking at number one, the results. Number two, the quality of the competition. And number three, the demand, which we can determine by looking at what's actually selling and also looking at sites like Etsy or Merch Hunter or whatever your favorite site is, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna be looking to see if there's actual demand. Are customers buying these things? If they are, let's try and mix in some other niches which will make it unique and attractive to our target demographic. And then we should be able to make some sales and get that passive income. So like I said, just validate the niches that you come across, rinse and repeat. Find out if there's an opportunity to make some money. You can do it without fancy software. You can check the results that are already on Redbubble. How many designs are there? Are they good quality? Can you do better? Are the tags bad? Just because there's a lot of results doesn't mean you can't compete. And this took a while because I was going through it really slowly. So once you get the hang of this, you can do it in less than a minute. Have a look at a design. Will it sell? Is there competition? Is there demand? Can you compete? What will you pair it with and make it? The most important part is going for it. Once you've done that analysis, don't think about it forever. Just do it, make something, put it out there and see what happens and then move on to the next thing. Don't obsess over it. Don't get your hopes and dreams pinned on this one shirt. You've done everything you can do, put it out there and move on to the next thing. If we're happy with it, we will compete in that niche and we will make some money. Thank you to everyone in Passive Ethics, especially these bosses. If you're not sure what Passive Ethics is, look in the description. There's a link and we're going to donate some more money just about now. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, smash that like button and watch these videos next because they are algorithm generated. And that means YouTube knows. YouTube knows what you want. They wouldn't recommend something if you weren't going to love it.